Hello there commanders and welcome to another episode of Gladiator Faction Preview. So, usually I do those previews on tier 10 units, as they're sort of an end goal or just represent the end game and represent the unit type the best, as they have the best combination of stats and min-maxing of um, various advantages and disadvantages that the unit has, and usually just are a nice middle ground as well. But in this particular case of this mysterious unit type that, well, size on the is just sword infantry. And well, it is. But what's unique about it is this ability. Release! There's slingers in disguise. So yeah, that's why I took um, a tier 8 unit. I should have done tier 9, but it was faster for me to just do... Uh, but you're right. Leave so I did. Survivors. <clears throat> yeah. So all the units from this uh, tech three branch, from I think starts at tier three and ends at tier ten, obviously. Um, all of them, apart from the tier ten, have the ability to fling rocks. Eight of them. Uh, obviously, you can replenish your ammunition by going here. And as you can see, the damage is. Well, just like slings, pretty shit, and non-existent. So it's good that at tier 10 it doesn't exist, but why does it exist on all the other tiers when the ability is really super shit? Yeah, it's kind of a, a weird thing, let's we'll just edit out that. But anyway, what are the other abilities that you can find on this unit type? Because we've already covered Chris's abilities, let's now cover um, the other abilities. Let's put this they're going to find for us, so might as well just put it like this. Um, Leave no first ability is Cheap Shot. Strike, damage and debuff. Essentially debuffs enemies with minus 20 melee defense. And that's it, just standard strike on a pretty short cooldown, just 12 seconds. And 8 seconds duration of the debuff. Debuff isn't anything to really write on, well, it's just 20% melee defense, but helps you land um, the strike itself. But it doesn't help you land the strike itself because it applies after the strike, I guess. So, not really. We're coming for you. That's the one. I guess I could fling some rocks in their backs. In the backs, it does some damage. Also, it's 100 soldiers in a unit rather than 60, usually found in ranged units. 45, we're talking uh, Jovoman, but we're talking Stinkus, so that's 60. No uh, I guess we'll put a chasing thanks to Adrenaline Rush. Uh, the unit itself doesn't have a charge, it's got the speed up ability. And now let's look at a very interesting last ability that I have teased in the previous video, but I haven't shown you in the end. And that ability is Shield Cover. So let's just read the synopsis, the description. Buff. Formation toggle. Raise your shields, increasing missile block but reducing speed. So far, standard. Allies who take over within the unit will also gain missile block. This is new. I mean, it sort of works already uh, like that with all their abilities. If you just have two units in the of each other, let's say, is this Lion Yes? Yeah, it's not Lion So let's say this is Lion Yes and he uses Find the Shade and I get inside him. Um, and we are being shot at by those archers, um, then it's safe to assume that 50% of those arrows will land into the Lanius unit and 50% of the missiles land into my unit, and then that way Lanius sort of covers for me as he blocks 100% of the missiles and also just eats 50% of the missiles that otherwise I would eat. Well, maybe not 50% of them because some of them would miss, but you know, you get one, more or less. Get a cheap shot in. It's literally just kick them. It's literally a cheap shot in, in, in the balls. I wonder. That's what the cheap shot is. Um, yeah. Let's read this ability to the end. Uh, targets on self, obviously. Affect self and allied units. Um, so self is shield cover. Duration none, as it's a toggle. The cooldown is only six seconds. You can switch back and forth. Um, um, pretty conveniently. Minus 20% movement speed, minus 20% charge deflect, and plus 25 missile block. So it's a regular missile block, but 
I think it would stack, right? So if it is in over here, uses their yeah, let's see. It's a block chance, 78. And now I activate mine. We have secured a capture oh, they disabled point. it. But yeah, they get plus 50% missile block chance from my uh, shield cover. Let me disable it. Goes on to 45, yep. Doesn't go on cooldown upon deactivation. And we just buff ourselves. And let's see. Now that the unit gets into my range. No, it doesn't. No, it does. Did it increase? I don't think it did. Let's see after it dies. 537, so it, it is getting updated. 554. I'm not affected by any other, but at least I don't know. 537 as it's sort of left. 554 again. 537. I'm getting slammed, but it shouldn't affect uh, the relative stats. Now the units died off, so now there are only two of them. Off. Maybe 57, probably because of this one. And it's slightly getting away, you know? The soldier should al always be there. 518. Let's try rotting this unit. Let's see if it goes down. Oh, 502 already. Oh, I'm getting back by this. It's mi no, it's middle defense, so it doesn't go in here. Enemy player has been eliminated. Fluctuates, definitely. So it uh, it does update all the time. So it's like an aura. Okay. That explains things. Now we know how this ability works. Got something out of this preview as well. Uh, for commander's sake. Not just for the units. And well, the units gimmick is the slain. But attack. it's just that. It's really just a gimmick as they deal close to no damage. Even to archers. As they have super low armor. Our unit is under attack. Um, 140 altogether. Uh, what about you? Even lower. Release! Yeah, mostly fives, some tens, some eighteens, I think. Thousand damage from almost 300 soldiers, attack. over 200. So it's still more than full uh, volume of regular slings. So it's really damage is only this. Oh, not from a close up. Maybe because I leveled up. I didn't level up just now. Uh, maybe the angle is better. But still, even then, damage is still just really, really pitiful. Just like these archers, they're shooting me in the back, technically. I just, haha, <laughs> it tickles. Damage is really, really non-existent. So I think you're just better off not using it and just moving. Unless you're really in a situation where that's the only thing you can do and the only way you can deal damage to your enemy. This is very, very slight harassment. Let's see if we can see some strikes. Oh, they jump up like that, and they probably knock down. And now the build is over. Do they still jump? Well, they stop jumping. And so that's the difference, I guess. So they do that. Previously, we couldn't observe it because the models were invisible. But now we can. So this is such a long cooldown. Melee weapon damage plus 25, uh, Avengers plus 50. Avengers plus 50 um, melee weapon damage and melee attack. This one gives the same melee attack, half the melee weapon damage, but also gives no defense, also charge deflect, and also morale, so we are more difficult to route. Um, and uh, it deactivates after 10 seconds, I think, when it's 12. Um, but these units are generally faster. And you have your own strike, Germanicus doesn't, so it synergizes slightly better in terms of Trixus. But Germanicus doesn't need 9 enemies around him to do that. And if you have 9 enemies around you, um, 
you should be able to be routed. So take that into consideration, I guess. Uh, when charging the power of the scaphander. <clears throat> Oh, we could get a really nice angle over here, shoot these dogs. The range isn't that good, just 100 meters. A lower range than the archers. Much lower than any slingers. Just look at damage, 101, 75, 110, 33, 48. When units literally have uh, health pools, well this is not a very good example. There we go, 25,000. We dealt through that unit, and we didn't even overall. We dealt 300 suffering damage compared to 25,000. Yeah. That's, that's very significant. Yeah, that ability is. Okay, I mostly dead, but even when those guys were full, that was still utter shit. Yeah, we are quite powerful as we are fighting a big blob. And also these units are all small, so that also helps, because they're not that scary. Yeah. And it's ninja as well. So both these, this gives me 20, 21 melee weapon damage, this gives 25, so altogether it's 46. So just 40% less than Vengeance. Obviously this lasts only for 10 seconds, this one lasts as long as the fight lasts. Uh, but still, it can reach Vengeance levels, let's say. We have secured the capture well, point. Not even reach the fight. Um, maybe if I just rush straight forward, I can fling my last stones. Fling, sling, launch. I don't know. I think it's fling, right? You fling a swing, sling, not swing. Oh, almost in range. Yeah, get right, George. Yeah, boy, 168 damage. Officially erect. And I have two ammo on some of them. Because I used one throw over there in the forest at the beginning. With only one unit. Maybe we can shift here. I think I'm fine. I'm sure it's Doesn't matter. So, yeah, the verdict on this unit type. Yeah, reach tier 10 when you don't have the. sling. Thing, thing, hail of stones. As it's terrible. On tier 9, though, it's slightly better. It deals more damage on tier 9. Um, so. So, we reach tier 9 and tier 10. And then again, on tier 9 and tier 10, you have ability swapping, so you can just swap it out. And I guess tier 10 would be able to swap it back in if you wanted. But I don't think you should. <laughs> so. There we go, up to tier 8, that tech tree, it's really not worth it, and again, it's the only tech tree, I'm going to spoil it right here, that has 100 soldiers per unit, all the other um, are smaller units. But well, that is going to be in another episode, so for now, thank you for watching, go check out how you can help on this bring the war and back to the west, uh, link in the description on your screen if I didn't, for the, uh, if I didn't forget about it. And I'll see you in the next episodes of the Faction Preview, all of my other episodes as well, and also on Arena's Battlefields Commanders.